lying in bed, but my heart was still beating real fast. My head was still stuffed with a lot of questions. I didn't know what should I do back then. I then climbed to the roof, the place that I and Dad used to go to, to calm myself down. I heard a knock on the door, and that was my mom. She asked me if I was okay, and I suddenly bursted into tears. I tried to speak in the normal tone that I was fine, so that mom couldn't be worried about me. I felt so sorry for my mom. The more I felt sorry, the more I can't accept Dad did. My eyes were filled with tears, but I could still hear my dad outside. I already forgot what he said. Just remember that I was really mad. I stood up and yelled at him, "Go away!" And suddenly, for some reasons, I slipped from the roof and fell onto the ground. And to me, everything seemed to be empty and dark. When I awoke, I saw my mom talking to the doctor, while Dad sat next to me, holding my hand. Although I was totally exhausted, I still tried real hard to get away from Dad's hands. I then opened my eyes and told Mom that I was hungry and needed something to eat. And of course, Mom rushed to buy me some food. Then there were only me and Dad. He asked me all sorts of things, but I just looked at him and asked him why he betrayed Mom, and told him that I had seen everything. He pondered for a while, and then apologized to me. And said that it was actually not what I thought. To be honest, I was quite happy and thank him silently for telling me that was a mistake. But I still scream loudly that I saw him with that girl with my own eyes. Dad sighed and started telling me his story. It turned out that Dad was visiting a friend of him in the hospital that day, as she was about to pass away, and she was my dad's first love. Before he met my mom, but that woman left dad to go on with a rich man without telling him that she was pregnant. It was not until that day that she told him the truth, and the girl I saw was their daughter. Because my dad didn't want to upset me and mom, he gave the girl money as a compensation to pay for the living, as he couldn't be there for her regularly. Lying in bed, looking at dad. I secretly thank God for the fact that what I thought was wrong. Thank God he was still my wonderful dad. I looked at him with tears in my eyes, apologizing for misunderstanding him. Dad and I hugged and cried. He said that mom and I was the most valuable assets in his life, and he could never allow anything to take us from him. And since then, I had an older sister. I will ask Dad to take me to visit her one day, and choose the right time to tell Mom about this. If I couldn't wake up that day, what could happen to my family? So try to see things at different angles, believe your heart, and don't let anger control you like I did.